All right, so today we're going to be programming the uh, Honeywell RLV4300. Um, this is a digital programmable ther uh, thermostat, and I believe this one is from uh, Canada, which is why it's in uh, Celsius. Um, that's okay. I'm going to fix that. Um, so I'm going to show you how to uh, basically program these things. So there we go. All right, so the first thing you want to set is the time. Um, so you do that with the hour and minute buttons here. So just pressing them makes it change. So let me see time on here. I need to actually know right, it's 1030. You can go 1036, give me some time. And then once you're done, just press turn. And then, so it's saying Monday, but it's Saturday right now, so I need to do day, so press day. And you'll see that's changing the day. It's Saturday, and return. All right. And so now the temperatures, uh, and I'm also gonna change it to um, automatic mode, so you're just gonna press the mode button until it gets to auto. Okay, there we go. And so you notice it's in Celsius. I want it in Fahrenheit, so um, let me show you how to do that. All right, so to access the advanced settings, which is how you change it to uh, Fahrenheit from Celsius, along with some other things, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to take something uh, pointy and you're going to stick it right in this hole over here. Just kind of press it for a second and then release it, and then you'll see we've got our settings. So unit Celsius. Press the up arrow, get it to Fahrenheit, perfect. And then to go to the next one, um, I think you hit program, let me see. I don't know, it must be mode. So you hit mode, and then you go to the next one. Okay, 24 hour clock versus uh, you know 12 hour. I prefer the 24, it's easier to keep track of. Um, early start, so this is gonna start your uh, heating cycles a couple minutes early, so it's all ready for you, you know, when you walk in the door. I don't really want that. Daylight savings time, um, I do want that. Uh, I don't know <laughs> if it really works. Sometimes these computers don't keep track of that very well, but hopefully it does. That'd be nice. Year, um, okay, it's not 2009, it is two, month, it's February, day 19, all right, um, cycle, standard, so this is if you're a uh, um, standard or fan, so if your baseboard heater has a uh, convection fan, then you want to use fan, and what that's going to do is it's going to, um, the cycles are going to take a little, it's going to cycle on and off slower. Um, so that it doesn't wear out your fan motor by starting and stopping all the time. But mine does not have that, so I'm just going to use standard mode again. And then we're back to the beginning, so now we're done. So now just press return, and bingo. We're uh, done with the advanced settings, so now everything's in Fahrenheit, and uh, perfect. So now I'm actually going to program the uh, cycles that I want. So just hit program. And you'll notice, so now it says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So this is uh, all the weekdays. Um, so basically, so you can set up to four periods. So basically the periods are just, you set a time, and then you want the temperature that it's going to start heating to at that time. So in my case, um, this one, um, Actually, I could probably just use manual mode for my, because this is just in the living room, so I don't really want it to change too much. I just want to keep it at, uh, just keep it at a very reasonable, pretty low temperature, because I, as you can hear, I have a pellet stove running in here, so this is just to maintain it when the pellet stove is off, basically. But, um, yeah, so you're just going to set the temperature, and then you use the hour and minute buttons to change, set the, you know, the time. So in my case, it doesn't matter because I'm not going to use this anyways. So I'm just going to set that for a zero, you know, midnight. And, and then to go to the next period for that day, you just hit program. And um, so you can, set, you can set up to four of these. In my case, I, uh, like I said, I don't, 
I don't want it to change too much because it's just in the living room. So you can just hit mode to clear it out. And then that uh, period is gone. So then just program again, mode, clear it out. Mode, clear it out. And then program, and now we're back to the beginning. So perfect. Um, and then to change to the weekend one, you're just going to hit the day button. I don't know why it's not focusing. Okay, there we go. So just hit the day button, and then you'll see it goes to Saturday, Sunday. So I'm just going to set the same thing, 60. And again, I could use manual mode for this, but I'm just trying to show you how to use uh, automatic mode. Okay, and then program to go to the next period. That one's already canceled. Program, go to the next period. That one's canceled. Program, next period. And then I'm just going to cancel this one out by hitting mode. Program, go back to the beginning, and there we go. Then we're just going to hit return to go back. So now you'll see, uh, so now it's programmed. So that's it. It's pretty easy. Um, so this is showing the current temperature, uh, 65 degrees. It's 1041 on a Saturday. And then it just shows auto with a 1. So it shows we're in automatic mode. And then when it's actually on, you'll see a little, little uh, air things here. And that's just showing that the heat's running. So... There we go, we are done. And uh, some things to note about this particular thermostat. So it says, um, so if you do lose power, it should save your settings. Um, it says that it will save your settings for up to five hours of a power outage. And after that, you have to reset the clock. I don't know if you have to reset your periods. I haven't um, tested that. It just says in the manual that you have to reset the clock. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I do like these thermostats. They're way more accurate than the old um, <clears throat> old uh, manual ones, you know, analog ones like these. Um, these are not accurate at all. These are, as far as I'm concerned, junk. Um, they are pretty robustly built. This thing is a tank, but um, yeah, it's not not very accurate, not very user friendly. Uh, there's not even, um, you know, numbers on there, so you just kind of twist it until you feel warm enough. Um, yeah, doesn't really work very well. Uh, yeah, but these are uh, pretty accurate from my experience, and they're once you they're kind of annoying to set at first, but once you got them set, they work pretty well, and you don't have to mess with them too much. And you can always, uh, so if you want to go to manual mode, just hit mode, and then you're in manual, and then you can just change it to whatever you want. So I'm just going to set it to 60. And then uh, when it's in manual mode, you can just walk up and, you know, change the temperature. And then when you're done, just hit return. And then there we go. So that's it.